Let's get to the Canadian Premier League, gentlemen. It is set to begin on April 13th. By the way, happy April. We are officially into the month Ooh. of April. Uh, we're going to put Ollie on the hot seat. You know I love my hot seat. And uh, Ollie, I want to oh give I want you to give us your <laughs> top five off-season signings so we can absolutely destroy. On, I mean, <laughs> praise you for all the work that you've done. So explain <laughs> your choices. And then I want Wheels and Jordan to go after you as to why you're wrong. Right. So let's take a look at your top five. All right. Great off season. I'm going to get my Mad Dog Russo fingers ready here in the camera. Yeah, come uh, on. <laughs> a lot to choose from here. I've got some, some OLIs to start with. Julian Dunn to Halifax, Frank Stirring to Ottawa, Diego Gutierrez to Cavalry. Don't even make this list. So this is how strong this list is. Uh, number five. Dying at number five, Matteo Di Brienne to Atletico Otto, one of the Ooh. first big signings of this offseason. This is an easy inclusion. Again, it's only number five for the U21 player of the year. He's an Ottawa kid. The fans are going to love him. Brilliant attitude, really good young guy. Uh, and he addresses a big, big need for that team on the left-hand side as well. That was a problem for them last season, just not having a natural left-sided player. Matteo Di Brienne has the potential to be as good as, as any player in that kind of profile in the league. So he's number five. Uh, number four, we're going straight back to the capital. Abubakar Sissoko to Atletico Ottawa. There's a theme emerging here. Uh, here's a fun fact for you about Sissoko. Three years in the CPL, three finals with two different teams. This guy's a winner. Two of those three years, he was, at, he, he was for me, a best 11 caliber player. I think he made it in 2020 when, when he was with Halifax. 2022 playoffs, exceptional for Forge that, that year with obviously Kyle Becker missing the final. Um, not his strongest year last year, but I think he's a major candidate for a bounce back. One of the best box to box players in the league when he's on it. Sissoko is number four, down to number three now. A little bit of a change up. We're going Eleman Cisse to Forge. The return okay. of Cisse to the CPL. If you're new to the league over the past couple of years, you might not know a lot about this guy. You're going to find out very, very soon. Cisse, Becker, Jonsson for me is the best CPL midfield we we've ever had. When those three were together, they were dynamite. Perfect. Um, mix of qualities that, that complement each other. In his last season in the CPL in 2021, he was sixth in the top 50 players that the league voted on at the end of that season. Some of the players he was ahead of, Dan Klomp, Lucas McNaughton, Mo Farsi, Manny Aparicio, Jonathan Sirwa, some serious talent on that list. And Cissé was right up there near the top, so that's a big return for Forge. Number two, guess what? We're going back to Ottawa. Manny Aparicio to oh. Atletico. It's another Atletico Ottawa signing. What, what, what do I need to say? This is foolproof. Foolproof indeed, Andy. Like, what do I need to say about Manny Aparicio? <laughs> He's one of the best players in CPL history. He's a player of the year nominee twice in a row. He went to Pacific. He did what he went there to do. Won a title. Was, was an outstanding player in this league. He's good enough for a higher level. I know he was probably looking for that this offseason. But being a CPL legend, one of the best players in this league's history, is not such a bad consolation prize. I'm, I'm sure he's going to continue to be that in Ottawa. You'll never guess where we're going for number one. It's Ottawa again. Balou Tabla to Atletico. It had to be. <laughs> it's to Fernando be. Lopez making another this. massive signing. Look at this list. This Look at this is wild. That they've had in Ottawa, in our capital city. You've seen Balou Tabla in this league before. You've seen him take over games. You've seen him score the best goal in CPL history. A couple of years ago he didn't do that badly in turkey didn't seem to work out this season for, for whatever reason but he wasn't given a lot of opportunity um there's no one more gifted no one more exciting to watch and i'm challenging him this year to be the first player in this league's history who puts 10 goals and 10 10 assists on the board i think that's what he's capable of so he's my number one Ooh. there's my top five unbelievable what how do we challenge this Ottawa. what Athletico a disappointment Ottawa easily looking incredibly strong Okay, you have wheels, a disappointment. You, you Who's go. missing? Like, who would you replace whom with? Oh, wheels. Like, we have to let's have specifics, have please, guys. Here? Yeah, yeah. And don't just say this guy needs to be on the list. This guy. No. Who are you removing? Yeah. Okay. From all these well lists. Said, Andy. To put, put the that list back up. There? I'll get. No, to, I can say right now. I don't want. I, uh, let me just state my disappointment in Oliver Platt because, like most things, he does it's half-assed. He didn't go all the way. Right. If you're going to go Atletico Ottawa across the board, then just give them all five. All right. Don't even put CC in there. I have you can't pick Chris, Chris Twardek, you can't put him. Kevin DeSantos, you couldn't have put him in. We all know all you. should be there. White collar, bureaucrat, go to our nation's <laughs> capital. You have Ottawa written no. all over it with your weak spine Ali. there. But... Okay, no, somebody okay. give so, me take... a name. Jordan, okay, give so, me a name. Look, Who's out of you... all these lists? Yeah, and no you're no names in. from Wales, though. I'll, yeah, no. I'll give a name, okay? Give as much name. as I love the move of Matteo Brienne, I agree with everything Ollie said. 
top notch left back. He's not on the list. I'm sorry, brother. Okay. The U21, so off, I get dude. that. Okay. Let's so talk. Off. Take Take Debrian, he's off. For me, I would even put, I think he's higher on the list, but just for kicks and giggles, I'll put Orcheski at number five. Hmm. How dare you not even put him on the list, Oliver Platt? This was the missing piece. He hasn't played for yet. Oh, he's quality and you know it. You feel it in your heart. Mateo Debrian is gone. Look, you're on the top 10 list. You're on the short list, brother, but you're not top five. Another one I'm going to take player of the year and you're just like. I do not care. And I love the brother. I love him, okay. but okay. you're looking at impact players where Chesky is definitely in the top five. And if I had to take someone out, DPN's coming out. Another player that has to come out for me. Sissoko. Sissoko. Sissoko's out. out. I was like, oh, trying to be nice. Sissoko's in the, the shortness as well. You have to put Gutierrez for Calvary. He's in there for moves. He's what He was the best player for Valor for the past two seasons. I played against him. A bit annoying because he's technical but he's one of those guys who wants to get in your face but he like can't fight but he wants to be like oh i'm like relax just stick to being the technician but he's in the top five for sure i'll put him out fourth sissoka out wheels you can take the rest i agree with tabla at number one i produce you at number two number three can even be debated but i like cc i do personally but that would be my five you gotta take four and five out i mean here's some good things about some boys in uh in pacific ali and dome um well, I, there's some there's some talent sure, out there proven. you just completely uh, ignored the west coast and what about vancouver fc and all the moves that, that, that they met made i just think that you can't focus on one team because you know that four or five players on one team aren't all going to collectively have the biggest impact you need to spread that across the board there are impact players that have been added across the board in this league and i just think it's very naive to just point it auto Ooh, flash and I, dash I say... uh, when they signed amir didich add them six seven ottawa just all the best players <laughs> they're gonna win right, it right, we know we're all in Moses dies on the shirt list for Vancouver as well. I, I will Ollie's say like, very... forget you, Halifax. I'm with Ottawa now. No, here's the thing. I will say very quickly that I focused on... I'm not speculating on this guy might be good. I've heard this guy Fair. is good. I know who these players are, right? We, I've watched like all it. these players. I think they're Proof quality. It. So there's guys in Halifax yeah. that came out of college and stuff. I don't know, but but I've heard good. So things. you wouldn't you wouldn't take any of your five out for Warcheski and Gutierrez? I just wanna I just wanna point that out. I, Gutierrez is close. Julian Dunn was close as well, but okay, not quite. But see, I like your five. That was great, yeah. and you know we're gonna continue it because here's my pet peeve: if you don't like a list, that's fine, but who, you gotta remove. Don't tell me this name, that name, this. Remove. I kicked them to the curb. Who are I they? Gave you my complaint. If he was gonna do four they, auto, they he should have just names. gone all five. You should all fine. No, because I'm not, do, I'm not doing way. it just to go all Ottawa. I'm giving you yes, my list. You it just so happens. They've had a great offseason. Ottawa though, players on it. Ottawa's winning. Let's get to our Visa Women's Soccer Report. <laughs> She believes Cup will be kicking off April 6th for the Canadian women. Gentlemen, they're taking on Brazil. But some bad news today. Uh, we've been informed that Quinn and Olivia Smith have suffered injuries with their club teams. Uh, Emma Riga, Mary Yasmin Aladou. They've been called in to replace those two players. Um, let's begin with Olivia Smith, Jordo, because this is a player that we've spoken very highly of. We know what the Gold Cup. She was an absolute superstar, was named best young player, dealt with a concussion near the end of that tournament, so we didn't see much of her. Do you think this hurts her chances of, of making the Olympic roster knowing that, you know, these are, I mean, I know they're just two games, but it's more of a chance to play with the national team or just how are you feeling overall uh, about Olivia Smith not being able to be part of this camp? Yes, yeah, so it's not just two games because for her, she just broke into the scene just recently, right? So this was another opportunity for those two games to show that she could be in that 18 and break in and score goals and come off the bench, start games just to be... Uh, a menace, a nuisance, someone that is really in Bev Priestman's eyesight. But now she's going to be peripheral. She's going to be on the back burner a little bit. That doesn't take away from her quality, but it's definitely a situation where if someone else goes and has a great, she believes, cup, you're kind of thinking, oh, is Olivia ready to go? And you just you, with young players, you just want to see them playing and getting yeah. better and better each time, even if it's marginally. You just want to see them on the pitch. And we know that, Ollie, you had that hot take, but it kind of made everyone think about the possibility of Julia Grosso maybe not being named to the Olympic roster because she seems to be at least according, you know, to what we've seen Beth Priestman do in her lineups, other players like, um, you know, Simeon Wujo and Quinn being chosen over Julia Grosso, but now Quinn is out. So I don't know if you want to take the Quinn angle or do you think this presents an opportunity for Grosso now? 
it's definitely an opportunity for Grosso, particularly when you look at the fact that this is two games, right? So, you know, Fleming is, is playing both as we, we always expect. Does Awujo get one? Quinn get one? Again, does Julia Grosso fit into that in a major way in, in, in terms of getting the kind of minutes she needs to really boost her case here? Now you would think that there'll be more minutes available to her uh, to make that case. Um, I don't think it really affects Quinn's status as, as long as they're healthy when, when the Olympics come, come around. Um, but an opportunity for Grosso for sure. And, and I think for Aladu too. Like I think she was really unfortunate to be left out of the squad this time and mm-hmm. at the Gold Cup and, and be the late call in both times. And this is a player who's in really good club form, like Olivia Smith is in, in Portugal. And, and again, a player who could make a case, I think. All right. Again, She Believes Cup right here on One Soccer, April 6th and April 9th.